right. The number one selling master plan community in all of Houston, Texas. Most amenities, 65 parks, 5 billion miles of trails. It's going to have a shopping center that's bigger than the woodlands, yes. But there's two major things that has a lot of people avoiding this area and you're gonna figure out why here soon. But what we gotta do is we gotta go check out kind of the heart, the original area of Bridgeland, Texas. Now you're gonna wanna stay through this whole video. If you miss any part of it, you might move to the wrong area. All right, so here we are, we're at the Welcoming Center. You can see the big bridge land right there, but you've got all these incredible lakes. Now there's 65 parks here. I've been teasing it the whole video that there's one thing that you must know when it comes to the school districts, because a lot of times you think of Cypress, you think of Cy Fair, it is ranked really, really highly, but there's a big but, and I'm going to show you here in a second something that really deters a lot of people from moving here. But real quick, just behind me, you've got uh, the Dragon Park. You actually have a lazy river. You've got tennis courts. It is just amazing. There's a lot of these throughout here, big, small, and they're building brand new ones across the 99. So you're gonna have a lot of these water parks. The coolest thing that I think that I've seen all day is probably five different groups of kids from middle school, high school, that are on golf carts cruising around. It seems like millions of these little lakes. So they're out there fishing everywhere. I love that stuff. And it just gives the kids more to do than going to a little park. As you will notice in every single drone shot and every video we do, you've got these paths everywhere. I lived in a neighborhood when I first moved here that had no side walks it was atrocious it was brutal to get anywhere and it really held you from going outside i'm being honest so to see this now it's like the number one thing i look at at, at these areas especially for the kid or even the retirees just a place to safely walk just across the old pond here and i'm not talking what europe australia where are you guys coming from by the way comment down below i'd love to hear you have the bridgeland high school in fact you've got the elementary and the middle school all there in one complex i'm also a sports junkie my kids love sports and when you see the amenities, the ball fields here, it's gonna make your head shake. I've never seen anything so cool. So that is really what people enjoy about here. But now, the revealing truth, the three different school districts that you will find. Yes, three, this area is so big, there's three different school ISDs. Before I break my ankle. Now we're gonna give you one of the reasons that people are not choosing the newer section of Bridgeland, which is one of the hottest areas in Houston. I know that doesn't really make sense. We're gonna take you into the number one builder, building designed house in all of Houston, Texas as well. So we got a lot of good stuff coming up. In fact, let's just go there right now. All right, right now we are in the new section of Bridgeland row of model homes on the west side of the 99. In a minute, I'm gonna tell you the number one reason why people are avoiding this area. However, there are a lot of people grabbing towards this area and the very reason why is because of the fresh clean look of these homes. In fact, this one is built by Builder of the Year and we've had clients purchase this exact same floor plan in other communities. Now, Jojo, you were telling me a little bit of something in the older section over there. What color are all those houses and then what can they get over here? Okay, so first off, Jackson, on the other side of Bridgeland, the thing is a more traditional house and you have to understand because those were built in the 2010s, somewhere around that area, give or take. Those have a more of a brown traditional type feel home, brown brick, red brick. There is some stucco, Spanish style homes, but however, here on this side, this is the new and improved 2020 plus type style house, actually 2023, because these were just built. Uh, these are the white brick, the, the black trim windows, the modern touches that everybody's looking for, you know, that new modern farmhouse type style feel. How you doing, good, good Mr. Good. Frederick Harris? He's got the nicest house in Bridgeland. What? Moved out of the, that uh, bit, the biggest pimp daddy house in Bridgeland. I have one client, she's been calling back and forth and she wants to buy the biggest, baddest house out here on this side. Really? And she loves your plan. She talked about all about it. Tell her we have new lots coming end of September. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Let me know. Let Good me seeing know. you. Jojo, you can't beat it. We got some of you clients want the biggest, baddest houses here in Houston. <laughs> <laughs> and Jojo can help you find it. That's what we do. You so. were recording this, Jackson, or I did. what? What's I gotta up, get man? you. Hey, right. raw form. But what we want to do, we're going to tell you the number one reason why people are avoiding this area, but we got to take you in this house because it is just something different. Let's go, Jojo. Show them what they want to see, baby. Well, here we go. You know the process. Come on in. Hey, what's happening, oh, we my got brother? Jojo. Good. good Appreciate Thanks. it. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> You're a living legend. <laughs> That's right. The original Living in Houston, Texas team, my main man, Jojo, living legends walking the streets. Everywhere we go, they want his autograph. He's got to be exhausted signing babies and autographs and, well, helping hundreds and hundreds of people move and relocate here, being the number one relocation team. 
What does he do to just unwind? Let's see. Yeah, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. All right, Jojo, show me the money. All right, here it is. Let's go. Take it for a look. What do they got in here? Well, you got the primary bath right here <laughs> with all the amenities. You have dual sinks. Double right vanity? Here, double sinks. Is that pump action? Sanitizer, pump action right there. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you guys. We're going to talk about the reasons people do not choose this area, but you have to see inside this house. Oh, man. Come on in, Jackson. Take a look around. See okay. how fabulous this house is. Jojo, first thing I noticed. What it, in the heck? Yes, you got an outdoor living space. What is it? Atrium type Something style. Like However, it comes with the fireplace, without wow. a fireplace. It comes in, in its raw form. It's just, just the atrium type style. But Reminds me of a rummer house. Anybody out there watching know a rummer house? So I know you pointed out this nice feature, but through the kitchen you have a back stairway, but you also get the curved staircase on the entry. You got it kind of like a formal dining, but it's still open concept. Yeah. Right in to the Magnifico. Look at that kitchen. And okay, so again, we got super tall ceilings, uh, big open floor plan. A lot of people are avoiding the, the main dining area, but having it kind of attached almost makes it into like a hangout for the adults, a little cocktail hour right yeah. there. So show us the stairs in the back. That is unique. You don't see that a lot. Yeah, so the back stairway over here um, just takes you up towards the game room, theater room, and all the other bedrooms. See, so yeah, this is the nice game room style you can get over here, overlooking the outdoors. We even had some clients that are actually not looking in this area, but out in the country that are wanting this style uh, type of second floor patio, you know, outdoor space. Yeah, for sure. The other thing I noticed is like, this is an area up here above where the kids can hang out, play or, or adults, or whatever, but the master's on the opposite side of the house. Yeah. So you're not gonna hear the noise of it. Yeah, this is an awesome landing right here. Let you overlook, you know, downstairs to the living area. The windows even are inviting you from the second floor. That's one thing they like about it is all the natural light that comes through on it. Yep. And a lot of people like to be able to see uh, upstairs. They like it to flow through yep. instead of a wall blocking it off. The owner's retreat, welcome in. Master, great views of the lake. Okay, let's check out the bathroom here. That's what everybody well, wants to see. Oh, I have seen some more impressive ones, haven't we? But this is really nice for sure. Got the big deep tub. Soaker tub. Big walk-in yes. closet. My wife's desperately wanting one of these islands in the center. Gonna put a fold-out table, plastic right in the middle. Should work out just the same. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment below. Do you think that's the number one house in all of Houston or have you seen better plans, better builders? I'm really curious of what you guys are thinking. We're, we're actually kind of impressed. You guys really know your builders, your floor plans, and some of you are doing resale, but let me know down in the comments below what you think about that place. And since we are the number one relocation team and the original living in Houston, Texas team, we got private access to learn all about what's coming here you're going to be shocked at what I'm about to reveal to you. Right now, we're working on phase one, which I'll give you a few details on. And then the big shebang, or the big deal, is gonna be the, the 925 acre town center, which I've got an update of this right here. So you've got comparison uh, equal to size of what the Woodlands has up there. So 1,000 acres, we'll have 925 acres on the three mile stretch in 99. And so the goal is the same. As so that is the same concept, pretty much. One job per household, yeah. I said, we'll, we'll be 21,000 homes, and I think they were 65,000 homes, right? I would say this was about 40, I think it showed it to you, right? At least the difference in what it would be in the future, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 925, yes. take 32, divide it. This is pretty cool, and I've got a snapshot of this that I email. So this, of course, they've repotted this a little bit. This just kind of gives you an idea of the future concept. Uh, between the retail, the, the office, the shopping, the dining. I counted about nine hotels just in this area and this is only one side of the freeway. Now I just want to take a little bit of extra time. He said that this is going to be the size of the Woodlands and what he was showing us is this map. This is the Woodlands Town Center, 1,000 acres approximately. 
This one's going to be 926 acres. So basically the exact same size. Now you've already got Town Lake there. Right here is the 290. So you've got the town center with already movie theaters. You've got the outlet malls. You've got so much shopping around there. Just to the south is Katy. You're going to have more things to do right here in Bridgeland in your backyard. And the beautiful part is here is the Grand Tollway, the 99. So part of it's going to be split on either side. It's going to be easy to get in and out of this area. But again, just looking at the relative size of the Woodlands, Texas versus this here, you're looking at the exact same. So you're probably thinking, all right, that house was gorgeous or the houses that were surrounding that are gorgeous, but how much do those cost, Jojo? Well, Jojo, let's tell them. All right, so you just saw the awesome uh, interior of this particular home. What's cool about it is it, these series homes, they run in between the four and 5,000 square foot price range. They do some partial customization to the house, not full. Where that, you're probably asking, Joe, well, what's the price? Okay, well, let's get to the price. The base price on this is in that 700 to 800,000 range, but really you need to know what's my walkout price. It varies, however, for particular plans like this they have, they're running between 900,000 right now and like 1.1 million on the top end. All right, all right. So Joe, we already talked about one of the reasons people don't like the original side of Bridgeland because of just brown houses. That's all it is. Well, the new section, as you see there, has got a lot of the white and the brown, so you have better choices. But why are people still not choosing this area? We're about to tell you that, but you have to see some of these new parks and get a little bit more information of what we learned from our private meeting. This is what I love about this new area of Bridgeland. Now, we've talked about it, the, the school districts are a little bit different. In a couple years, they will build some, but you know, these parks are so extensive. And as you can see there, uh, you know, and in talking with Joe, the sales rep, not my Jojo, you know, he lives in this area and he's got two young kids and he's like, the parks here with 65 plus, you know, the majority of them are so extensive. I love that right there, having the, the rubber hills and all the swings and all the things to do. You can actually spend some legit time in those areas. Whereas, you know, the smaller ones with just a swing or whatever, they get a little tired for the parents, let's be honest. But you've got community pools. Now, here's the big thing about this area. It's just like, you know, talking with Joe, the sales rep and, and with some of the clients moving here, it's going to be the new hot thing. We've already done incredible detail about the huge shopping area that's gonna be the size of the woodlands here. So, you know, you think about what that's going to do for the equity of your house, the drive for people to be here, the amount of jobs, you know, a job per household. And already, even though they took a $100,000 price cut, you know, a year ago, a lot of that had to do because these builders had to sit on houses because there wasn't transformers, believe it or not. So now what we're starting to see and what they're telling us they're starting to notice or do $20,000 increases on prices uh, per month. So, you know, it is really timing is everything. And I know, you know, you're trying to time interest rates in the market and all that. Sometimes just getting in ahead when everything hasn't been developed yet in schools, your equity is going to be massive. And then you're already set in place here for when, you know, these things are built. But man, you got the community lakes here, fishing spots galore. We just saw a boat pass by. They were out on one of the lakes, you know, fishing. So. You really have incredible communities, sidewalks, and these gorgeous brand new homes. Oh, and white brick houses, you know, instead of just the brown ones over on the east side of the 99. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna let Joe tell you that number one reason people are avoiding this area right now. Yeah, so that one thing we were talking about that causes people not to move here at the moment, it's really just the unknown of the Waller Independent School District. We're not gonna go into details or anything about it, but that's just one of the hangups that we're hearing. And personally, I've been going in and uh, just getting some feedback from other uh, people that work out into the community. And it's, it, like I said, it's just really an unknown. And one of the downsides as well on that, well, I guess that's one plus one is two, right, Jackson? But, <laughs> Good math, Jojo. Okay, so right now, if you have high school students, it is a, quite a commute to get to the high school out on this side right now at the moment. However, you have anybody from like sixth grade below, more than likely that high school is gonna be projected somewhere down this 99. It's still a gray area right now as to where that's exactly gonna be. But elementary schools, will be right here in this community. As you see, 2025, they're opening a school right here, somewhere in this green, beautiful, luscious grass. Teacher Jojo. Yes. It's gonna be Cypress Christian School. So again, as you can tell, I mean, the, the Bridgeland area has been building out for a decade or more than that, since like 2007, and now they got another decade coming out this way of build. So 
If you do have the younger kids, uh, they will eventually have their own schools in here. Having that massive shopping area that's gonna be the size of the woodlands. I just think, you know, here in the, in the future, in the next five years or so, this will be the place to be with all of the shopping, all the retail, brand new schools. But right now, if you are on this Waller, or the Waller ISD side, you will have a little bit longer of a commute for some of those kiddos. But tell them the good news, Jojo. The good news is, is not only you're gonna enjoy life in the community, you're right by the 99 to hop on 290, 242, going over to Haiti. You have just a great access without all the uh, congestion of the traffic that you have going into the inner city. And that's why they got to reach out, right, Jojo? And that's why you got to reach the out. The pulse of H-Town relocation. This is a uh, S-Town, <laughs> suburb town. <laughs> Again, I've got the map here, and there's actually some maps where you can see the actual definitive lines but that's something that we can help out with and the one thing i do want to talk about when we were in there in our private meeting they stressed to us and i'm just being honest hey joe make sure you tell your client anybody who's reaching out to you they put you down when they go tour these areas like they really do respect joe our whole living in houston team being the top relocation team and we can assist you doesn't cost you any extra money to use us just reach out to us to learn more but here's what you need to know right? It's those Waller ISD school districts. So basically, if we look uh, on the map, this is the Grand Tollway right here, uh, heading north and south. On the east side, this is going to be the sci Fair school districts, 115,000 students. On the west side right here, Waller ISD, about 9,000 students. But here's the issue. Here is a map of the school districts. Again, this is the 99 that heads north and south. And what you can see is the whole sci Fair. So the uh, Bridgefield High School is right here and it's surrounded by the elementary school, middle school, and then there's all the other ones here. So you're very in and tight with the sci Fair and all your schools already. Now, these are all the proposed schools that are coming. In fact, if you look here, as early as 2024 should be your elementary school. Again, if you got the younger kids, the high school should be there as well when it's time. Right now, though, they are having to bus, which Joe told me is my pen doesn't work, which is terrible. Here is the high school right now for Waller. It's about a 40-minute bus ride, and that is what's you know hurting people if they want to move over here and, and get in early. Because, again, with all the new amenities and shopping and, and everything that's coming in, the equity that you're going to build, the, the prices of the homes, which are going up $20,000 a month, it's going to start erupting here, and they want to get in early. So not saying it's impossible. There's obviously kids doing it, but right now they're having to go all the way over here. So in the future, this is where the new schools will be, nice and close into your area. Oh, but wait, there's more. In fact, JoJo had something that he was just dying to let you guys know. So I'm going to let him say it. Mic what up, what up? Microphone, check up, check up, check up. JoJo in the right. hizzy. Peace out. What was that? Peace out. <laughs> Jojo, you are the coolest dude that I ever knew. You're going deep into the bag for all your coolest sayings, and you talked about pagers in your last video. But if you want to know what the top area in Cyprus that people are moving to, now they're avoiding the Bridgeland area to go to this place. I did a full vlog tour on it just a few months ago. You have to check out this video of this master plan community.